Another way to use the random angle miter cut is to create a splayed miter pieces for vases. In this example, we'll be using two different width boards glued together into a compound board used to create a unique shape for a large vase. The smaller board is cut on the table saw to five degrees along both sides. The larger board is cut to five degrees along one side and 15 degrees along the other side. Then glue the two boards together at the five degree sides. Once the compound board is ready to cut, set the five degree side flat against the table of the miter saw and keep it flat as you bring the compound board into contact with the fence. You want to maintain this orientation as you cut the splayed miter pieces. Here I used a brace to help hold the compound board in the proper orientation. Since the compound board can't be reversed to make the same cut, only every other cut will go together to create the splayed miter bowl or vase pieces. If you match the length of your cuts, the two different shaped pieces will fit together as you will see. You can use any normal setting for making an equilateral polygon shape. In this example, I used 22.5 degrees for eight sides, but could have used 30 for six, 20 for nine, or even 18 for 10. The five degree cut laid flat on the table of the saw plus the two five degrees glued together to make the compound board equals a 15 degrees cut so that the final splayed pieces actually sit flat and the top and the bottom are parallel. As you can see here, the pieces fit together nicely and sit quite flat. From here, it is just a matter of gluing everything together and turning a unique vase. Hope some of you out there found this helpful. Um, if you did, please subscribe. Otherwise, thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed.